Brahma Baba was a constant source of inspiration and wisdom for his children. Baba used to say that children, religion is might. One day, our internal power, which is the power of silence, will overcome the external power, the power of science. And then we will rule the world in unlimited peace, happiness, and prosperity. That time is now very close. Baba always remained in such intoxication and free from all worries. Being in the company of such an elevated authority, the sweet children of Om Manli used to sing. Sukh ki aai ghadi jab se mein Om Mandli gai. प्रभु से रीति जुटी सखीरी मेरे सुख की आई घड़ी मनवश करने मंत्र मिला मुझे लगी न एक घड़ी दिव्य दृष्टि मिली मोहे क्षण में वैकुंठ आन खड़ी मैंने कृष्ण से रास करी सखीरी मेरे सुख की आई घड़ी हर्ष शोक की आग उफाणी सुखपद समाधि चढ़ी सुख की आई घड़ी मुझे लगी न एक घड़ी सखीरी मेरे सुख की आई घड़ी ज्ञान अमृत बिन जिया घबराए बिछड़ू न एक घड़ी मैं तो अब प्रभु के हाथ विकाणी रे तन मन सुद बिसरी सुख की आई घड़ी मैं तो जीते जी मरी जब से ओम मंडली गई The anti-Om Manli party have still not given up. After experiencing all the defeats, they were now ready to make their final move. Now, their plan was to assassinate Brahma Baba and destroy the Yajna completely. However, the poor souls were not aware that this was the imperishable Rudra Yajna. The anti-party traveled all the way to Kashmir to find an experienced assassin. Very well-known assassin from the Himalayas was chosen to attack Brahma Baba. He was a Sikh bandit who was very well known for his skills of assassination. The anti-party gave the bandit a picture of Brahma Baba and the house plan of Om Nivas. On usual days, Baba had assigned a guard to always remain at the gates. On the main floor, there used to be a sister who would sit around the door. And Brahma Baba was never alone in his room. There was always someone around to assist him with his work. However, on this particular day, one of the cars had a flat tire. So the guard at the gates had to go help them out. The sister on the main floor got called in the kitchen for some work and the sister with Brahma Baba went to get dinner for Baba. It was on this night the assassin decided to strike his move. He crossed the gates by jumping through the fence. He climbed up from the main floor straight to Baba's room. When he entered Baba's room, Baba was sitting on his desk, writing some beautiful points of knowledge into his diary. Baba looked up 
and saw a sword in the hand of this strange looking man. Baba remained totally fearless. He internally said, If Shir Baba wishes to continue using this poor, old body for his medium, he will have to come and protect this vehicle. It is his responsibility, not mine. With this thought in mind, Baba looked fearlessly in the eyes of the assassin. However, the assassin could not even see the face of Brahma Baba. All he saw was a golden mist in the room. He started to stumble around in this golden pure mist. He started to lose the sense of his body. He felt as if he had died and ascended to Nirvana. All his memory of his original purpose was washed away and the sword dropped from his hand. प्रकाश की किरणें बाबा सच्चा पथ दिखलाती हैं तेरे प्रकाश की किरणें बाबा सच्चा पथ दिखलाती हैं Hearing this noise of the sword the sisters ran to Baba's room they called the security guard and ordered him to take the assassin into the main hall. Baba told the guards to treat him respectfully and peacefully. The sisters told the assassin that he had come to God's house. If he wishes to wash his past sins, he could do that here. The assassin was deeply touched by this experience and he decided to take a promise in front of Baba that he will no more commit any physical violence. He will never touch his sword again. The next day when the anti-party heard about this news, they finally decided to give up on attacking the Yakya. This is how our Baba played the role of a Yajna Rakshak. Such was the fortress of this Rudra Yajna. Thank you.